Hi, how are you? It's Trav Sneer, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we collected some Skull Splitter Tusks, and we got beat up pretty bad by the Skull Splitter Trolls. And today, we are going to go back and collect the final six split bone necklaces. I think we'll probably pick up another quest as well. For the whole. Yeah, here we go. More Stranglethorn Veil vale stuff going on. I guess we could queue up for some dungeons like we always do. And just cross our fingers and hope we get into one. I don't really want to do a ZF yet. But there's a lot of people looking for Mardon. So maybe we'll get into one of those. Alright. So the plan is today is to not to die. That's the goal. No deaths today. Hopefully I didn't jinx myself. No, would be a, like an amazing thing to watch. Like a no death Elden Ring run. That game is so tough. The thing is though, in Elden Ring, I don't know, you can skip a lot. Of, you can you can make the content easier through just leveling up and killing bosses. I currently have the game. I've been just playing it a little bit. Don't know if I want to do a Let's Play for it yet. Like, I do want to do it, but the problem is I got too much, too many Let's Plays going on, so, like, and I just think that's the type of game you really need to, like, I don't know, you need to, it needs to be, like, one of your main games you're playing at the moment to be, to, like, really enjoy it, like, there's a lot of mechanics you need to learn, like for the fights, and it's a it's going to be a learning process for sure. So I don't know how enjoyable it would be for me to to let's play that on stream though. Like streams, it's not bad because you can just die for like hours and hours. The good stream game. That's for sure. <laughs> but for like YouTube, it's, I don't know. I think unless you're like a real be like a good player or like you're kind of like skipping the content, just leveling up and because like entire, an entire like Let's Play episode. I've been thinking about this for a while. An entire Let's Play episode could just be you dying to a boss. Like that tree sentinel guy? Come get the that guy's an animal, man. Like, if you fight him right out the price from the beginning, that guy's tough. It's cool that people beat him, though. Let's, okay, so what do we want to do here? Snimboya? Grim message? What should we do? Let's go clan heads? Okay, let's do this. Iniku was not among the heads, and I thank the Great Serpent for it, but we are no closer to finding him. We must know the truth, and I fear that only the Blood Scalp Chief and his Witch Doctor know of it. They are the enemies of the Dark Spear tribe and will not speak freely, so we must force the truth from their dead lips. Bring me the heads of Genzula and Nezalok, the Dire, and place them within the cauldron. They are deep within Zalkunda bring their heads we will then make them talk spirits all right so let's go deal with some of the leaders gonna be a little bit of traveling today because we're gonna be going from Lakuna and then back down to the ruins of Zalmamwe because we do want to finish this necklace quest so I don't think it'll take us that long to get six necklaces but yeah back to what I was saying about um Elden Ring, like that game's tough, man. Like if if you fight bo like the bosses under geared and under leveled, like it's hard. Like it's and it's cool because you can get rewarded with really nice gear. It's a great game. It's a cool game. I really think it's a cool game. I'll probably eventually play it on the channel. I just don't know. 
Don't know when. I'm tempted to start a Let's Play, but... We're doing a lot of other... <laughs> doing a lot of Let's Plays. And I don't like really quitting on them. I still need to finish The Hunter, too. The Hunter, I've been, like... Kind of neglecting, which is kind of sad. I just don't know how to... I just can't get a group. And I don't... I have a, f a feeling that I probably won't be... Uh, won't be ending it the way I planned to, so... But we'll get that. We'll get it done. Trap and Trap is going to hit level 60 very soon. I'm going to make sure of it. He's literally less than a bar away, so <laughs> he's pretty much 60. It's just, we just haven't had that final episode yet. Good thing is we can kind of skip these guys. Yeah, a lot of cool games are out, man. I just feel like gaming's this has been a really good year for gaming for me as a gamer. Um, New World came out. It, it was it's had a rough start, but I, I like New World. I think it's going to be good in the future. It's just building right now. So I'm looking forward to New World to see what happens with it. Lost Ark I like as well. It's another cool MMO that came out. And there's a couple more coming out this year as well, so. Let's see how that how everything goes with that. Elden Ring, pretty awesome game. Dying Light 2. Having a lot of fun with that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah. Hopefully you don't die here, dude. This guy's hitting me like hard, man. No deaths today. No deaths today, guys. We only got 11 manas. So we'll probably head back to uh, Grumgull after this. We'll purchase some more. But yeah, if you guys are looking forward to any games or you guys have played some games recently that you like, just... Uh, Shoot them in the comments, or if you got Twitter, just message me on Twitter. I tend to check that a lot more than Instagram. See, I'm always looking out for games, man. Oh, Nesloc's getting destroyed. Get up! Finish it! Now we got Nezalok's head. Now we just need to get the uh, Ganzula's head. I think we'll do, do just fine. He's not an elite. It shouldn't be that bad. Should probably get our might buff up. There we go. Alright, so let's clear everything out here. Make sure we don't run into too many trolls. Still going to be a tough fight. I think we will most likely... Try to... We'll probably just go straight for Ganzula. Problem is, is if any... Uh, oh my gosh, where did this guy come from? I think he's a patrol. Uh, our, the damage we're doing is wild. It's a lot of damage. Kind of just want to go in right now, but... I can't. Come on. Okay, let's move in. Let's get Ganzula here. We're not waiting. Come on, give us another stack. Give us another stack, please. No, we didn't get it. Lost our stacks. That kind of sucks. This guy's going off on us, but we finished him off. Good thing these witch doctors didn't drop any, like, really strong totems. Just drop the healing ward. Take that. Okay. So now he's getting the wards up. Let's have a pod here. He's got his healing ward going. We'll be okay. We gotta land on these wards are brutal, man. 
Ganzula was an elite, though, he'd probably have to kill those witch doctors first, or at least CC them. The problem is, as a paladin, you don't really have much CC at all. All you have is your, uh, your hammer of justice, but we did recently get another form of CC that we can use for stuff like that. We picked up um, Repentance. Just sort of like uh, they stay in incapacitated as long as you don't damage them. So if they don't take any damage, it's a solid six seconds CC. It's pretty good. All right, so let's uh, hop on our warhorse here. And we'll get riding, and we need to get some mana, so we got to make sure we stop by Drumball Base Camp. We'll turn this quest in too. We'll see what happens with their heads. Supposedly they're gonna make them talk somehow. With some uh, troll magic. down to Grumgall base camp. We won't have to worry about any alliance attacking us. I've also been thinking about Wrath as well. It's, I think dungeon... You can queue up for dungeons. Like... You can queue up for dungeons in TBC right now because they added this uh, dungeon finder, but you can actually like get teleported to the dungeon. By queuing up in Wrath, I think. I, I wonder when they're going to release that. I've been playing New World. And, and I'm a fan of, like, you know, the good old classic, like, meet up with a group, travel to the dungeon, all that. Like, it's, it's cool. But I've been playing New World, and to continue the, sto the main story quest, you actually need to do dungeons. And it's kind of a pain to find groups sometimes. You really wish they had, like, a dungeon finder or something like that. Like, I hope they add that soon. Or so. All right, the greenish broth within the cauldron bubbles. You place the heads of Ganzula and Nezalok within the cauldron. And there we go. Ah, good traveling. Now let us see what tale these heads tell. Kinwele begins chanting. Let's see what Kinwele does. Please, Travenant, you may now speak to the Blood Scalp Chief and his witch dog. Alright, Kinwele. So I guess these are quests that we need to do. We gotta, like, bring them stuff. Okay, well, we won't be doing that today, but we will be continuing that quest chain, for sure. And, can't forget why we came here. Not only just to turn the quest in, but to also get some some mana. Speak, friend. Some drinks. Some moonberry juice. We'll sell some of this junk that we got. Be safe. Okay. I think that's enough manas for now. At level 45, we will be using uh, some new manas. Alright, so off we go to the, Z the Zulmamwe ruins, or the ruins of Zulmamwe. Can't be messing around there. I don't want to die today. Gotta watch out for the patrols, especially those three-man patrols. That place is a pain, man. Probably the toughest place in all of uh, Stranglethorn Vale. Probably the ruins of Zulmamwe. Now 
I think it's mainly just because of the three pack patrols. Like there's, it's kind of rare in classic or just to earn WoW in general. A lot of three packs can kill a solo player. For packs of three. Oh, we almost climbed that. I can't believe I forgot the name of those trees. Well, I think it's... it's not like we have them here in Canada anyways. But, like... I don't know. I've always... The tropical trees. I forget what they're called, man. Got, like, the bamboo. I can't believe I forgot the name of those trees, man. There's the patrols. Oh, we got ogres chasing us, too. Now we gotta watch out. Those ogres are pretty bad, too. Yeah, the mox... The Mogosh... The Moshog Ogre Mound? Yeah, it's... That is not a very friendly place. Palm trees. Palm trees. Got it. There we go. <laughs> Remembered that. I've seen him before. I went down to, like, Florida once. Got a family down there. Oh my gosh. Bell Splitter Axe Thrower. I think we can handle these two. Give us your necklaces. All right, shrink up. Doing all right. Did see a patrol walking back though, so we gotta watch out for that. Vengeance brought going. Got a lot of loot from that one. Let's keep these vengeance procs rolling here. Kind of want to get a stack of three going. Would be nice. Okay. Light fell off. We're at two stacks. Let's get it up to three. I think we can beat these two guys. Problem is we don't have any mana. I'll just try to get it to half and we'll go in and fight. We're only gonna... We're only gonna have ten seconds here. There we go. Got three stacks of that. These are really gonna be putting in some, some damage now. So let's see if we can keep these stacks up. I gotta find another target though. I guess this guy. Try to get like half mana and then we'll just make a run for it. Okay, we'll go now. Come on! Come on, vengeance proc! 
Now we're gonna lose. Oh, we kept it up last second. Damn right, that was awesome. And it's good to keep it up, like, 15% extra physical and holy damage is, is a lot of damage, guys. Keep it up here. Oh yeah, that's a nice damage. Let's drink up. Get a little bit of mana. Kind of low on health as well. That's the problem, though. You can't get a full drink. Either you get a... Either you lose the, the stacks or you get a full drink. I don't know if we're going to get it here, guys. We're losing it. That sucks. We got really lucky when we got that proc. At the last second there. I wonder if, like, red paladins in raid choose that talent and if they keep it up the entire raid. That must be tough. Like, you probably want to have, like, three stacks of that going into a boss. So you're, like, just pumping 15% extra damage right into like that. Right off the bat, I mean. <laughs> right from the bat. <laughs> there we go. Cause yeah, you're like a wrecking ball when you have that those, that buff up. Okay, who's, who's our next target here? There's not many trolls around here. We're gonna lose our stacks. Get him. Okay, we're pulling two here. It's not good. And we're not gonna keep our stacks either. Got that proc just a second too late. Because they're stabbing me like crazy. Right, let's go. Let's see what we got here. This would be the last necklace. We got a big hodge though. It's gonna do a lot of damage. And we got three stacks. It'll be lit. Damn right. All right, so there we go. We got everything we need. Let's hurt out of here. Hopefully, we don't get ambushed by anybody. Got like green hands right now. Okay, so. Oh damn it! Is this a grum? Is this gets? Is this gets turned in in Grumgall? Oh, that sucks. Well, I forgot that we should have went back. But I guess next episode, we'll probably head back to Gromgall anyways. And we'll turn the quest in there. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.